I think there but for fortune go you or go I. You know, these streets ain't no joke. When you're living on the streets, you know the deal. It's a doggy dog world out here. It's about surviving, finding a place to sleep. Man, it's crazy out here. Everybody open one thing. Getting that next meal. Hi. How are you? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich mm -hmm. so is Anthony's much. one meal for the day. And it's just nice to give people things that they need. Yeah. If Anthony only knew what went into his first meal in 24 hours. You know, tastes good. This sandwich. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. The flow is this, peanut butter passed to jelly. If he only knew the whole story from the beginning. Let's start with peanut butter, let's go. We could tell him Seattle fifth graders at St. John's School. Do you have white bread? Made the sandwiches that afternoon. These are going to homeless people who don't have food to eat. Oh yeah. Enough sandwiches to feed all the homeless at City Hall Park. Oh my God. If only they knew the rest of the story. The trail of the sandwiches. But this is good. Ends here. I'm from St. John's School, and we made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I appreciate it. Should we check your blood pressure today? But it began yeah. months ago. Do you want to come in here? Oh, yeah. let's go in here. We can go in here. Okay. The moment a homeless woman named Adriana there we go. walked into the Pioneer Square Clinic and saw something Are you extraordinary me? on the wall. See. Adriana yeah. wanted to be up there too. Yes. Yeah. Her story was amazing. With all the other portraits of patients at the clinic, the homeless men and women who never imagined someone asking them two questions. Oh, she was like, can I take a picture of you? There. I'm like, yeah, why? And can I paint your portrait? Okay, I'll do it. Oh, when she said she wanted to do my portrait, I uh, I was fabulous. That question itself would make anyone feel important. <laughs> important. Yeah, because somebody cares. Uh huh. Yeah. And she really does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any pain today? <laughs> she nothing. Is nurse Mary Larson. Yes. Treating the homeless at the clinic by day. Let me start with your temperature. By night. I work from the photos of the patients. In the comfort of her studio. I like to do the portraits together, yeah. like a group of friends. She's artist Mary Larson. When I look at, at some of these faces, I just see absolute total joy, despite the circumstances. I watch all of these faces progress. They come to life all along the way, but there are moments when they just, there they are. You're almost ready to start having conversations with them. It's a struggle. Yeah. But nobody said that the road was going to be easy. What do you want people to know about you? 15 days after my reach, uh, he started beating me up. Isn't that something? I live off just my social security. Yeah. That's not easy, you know, finding your way out here on these mean streets. Human beings can come out of hard things. I'm still alive, doing well. Mm -hmm. You know, just recently I started smiling. Well, the sparkle in their eyes comes to life. When she began painting the portraits 10 years ago, she realized she could make a difference. I start thinking about what we're going to sell the paintings for. Not for cash, though. No money for these. But for the things. 750 sticks of deodorant. The homeless need. Maybe 800 pairs of brand new underwear. Great. Lewis's portrait just sold for something he could use in the winter. Warm stocking caps. Around four or 500. His face made somebody happy. Edwin's portrait, 250 boxes of cereal. For a food bank. There'll be a lot of healthy people walking around because of this portrait. A thousand pairs of brand new socks, 1,500 toothbrushes, 900 tubes of toothpaste. I couldn't believe it. Felton's portrait, 750 cans of food. It just blows me away. And I said, man, that's a lot of canned goods. So no, mon so no yeah. money, no money. Sandwiches, yes. I can't imagine just having one sandwich to last the whole day. The question, how many? In exchange for Adriana's portrait, Mary Larson is about to tell those fifth graders. If you guys are ready for a big challenge, I would like to see if you together are able to make a total of 3,000 sandwiches. Do you think you could do that? Yeah! Oh my! <laughs> well, that will mean you will have fed 
3,000 hungry people in Seattle. It's amazing. Consider these sandwiches. I'm from St. John's and we um, made 100 today. A down payment for the portrait of Adriana that from now on hangs on the wall at St. John's. Close to God, I don't know. You can thank Nurse Mary Larson. Made me feel important. Ah, famous. <laughs> When our patients lend their faces to this, to be painted, they're, they're helping make a better world. And we need that right now. Now you know the rest of the story and the trail of this sandwich. That's perfect. Six squirts. Here you go. John Sharifi, King 5 News.